In gorgeous forest across our valley, drier conditions out there right now as well as all of the showers continue to head east right on out of our forecast area. So we have these gorgeous skies, beautiful hues of yellow and orange gracing us across our skyline. 63 degrees is where we're at currently. Plenty of clearing in the mix. Expect to see more high clouds later on today. And here's where we're kicking things off this morning. Temperatures 59 degrees in Centennial Hills, 60 in Aliante with 59 in Mountain's Edge, 51 in Red Rock and 61 degrees in Henderson. Cooler start to the day. And here's what you can expect by 9 a.m. will be at 70, 1 p.m. 79, 4 p.m. 82 and by 7 p.m. will be at 80 degrees under mostly clear skies becoming partly cloudy later on today as we prepare for more change over the next few days. 84 degrees will be our daytime high today. Our average this time of year is 86 degrees, so daytime high is still falling slightly below average for this time of year. It will be drier Wednesday and then breezy for the end of the week. We're going to start to increase our wind speeds tomorrow as we head into Friday, and that'll lead us to a cooler weekend up ahead we're tracking even colder changes. Yep, instead of cool, it's going to be feeling cold as we head into early next week. Satellite and radar, all of the showers that impacted us yesterday heading off to the east. I know some valley neighborhoods got to see a light sprinkle while others did remain completely dry. Nether system dropping down, bringing us a better opportunity to see some rain as we get you closer to the weekend. First, we'll pick up the wind. That'll be a sign of those cooler changes. And then here comes the colder system, bringing back the potential for some rain. We're kind of surrounded by those light scattered showers. Persisting through the afternoon, you can see not going to be a washout for us across the valley, but still the potential for some rain in the mix. Also favoring our higher terrain as we head into Saturday, so slight chance of a mountain shower sticking around Saturday. And then next week, an even colder system drops down out of the north and will be bringing us the first significant snowfall for the season, especially for our neighbors just to the east of us across portions of Utah and Arizona, where they're going to be seeing the snow and we could potentially even see some of that snowfall across our higher terrain, our local mountains. Temperatures go into the 80s, then into the 70s with a forecast high of only 67 six degrees by next Tuesday. That is a look at weather. Stay with us. More Fox 5 News this morning. We'll be right back after this.